This is the incoming water pipe. This is the outgoing wastewater. This is the large 16mm wastewater. And this is the blue drain clamp to drain the boiler. This is the water level probe inside the boiler. Start by opening the water supply to fill the boiler. The water level will rise inside the boiler. Switch on the still and press the start button. The water will start to boil inside the, the boiler. The distillate will flow down the tube into the aspirator bottle. The float switch mounts on top of the aspirator bottle and we will switch the still off when the water level pushes the float to the top. The still is now fully operational. We will next look at cleaning the boiler. Drain the boiler by opening the blue thumb wheel. Lift the 16mm waste pipe and fit the hole at the top of the side of the still. Use any weak organic acid and add by the constant level device to the boiler. I'm using sulfamic acid, but any other weak organic acid will work. Always add the acid to the water, but in the case of sulfamic acid, water can be added to the crystals. Try to get all the mixed acid into the boiler. Open the water supply valve and add water to the boiler. The water will rise up to the constant level. Just make sure it does not run over the side. Add enough water to reach all the dirty areas inside the boiler. The water won't flow out of the boiler since the blue drain valve is closed and the 16mm waste pipe is lifted above the water level in the boiler. The elements can be switched on for a short while just to heat the acid solution. This will enhance the effect of the acid, but do not boil the water. Be very careful when working with acid and rather wear gloves if you are in doubt of your own safety. Leave the acid long enough until you see there is no further effect of the acid inside the boiler. Drain the acid by putting the 16mm drain pipe out of the hole and pinching it with your fingers. Make sure not to spill acid and let the pipe drain the boiler waste into a waste chamber to safely this discard later. Repeat these steps until the boiler is sufficiently clean. If this in situ cleaning does not work, remove the elements and try to scrape the scale off from inside the boiler. But prevention is better than cure. Rather drain the boiler regularly to prevent too much impurities from concentrating inside the boiler.